peace to the family. God blessing, all that good stuff. I'm out here enjoying this beautiful afternoon. And a lot of things was running through my mind that I just wanted to share in this moment. I was just thinking about how all these different entities around us is just fighting and pulling at our attention span. And our attention spans are getting shorter and shorter. And in my mind, I think, why is that? And the more and more I think about it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to understand that I'm getting old, you know, which is cool. I'm cool with that. It's a blessing. Every day is a blessing. And I am thankful for every blessing. But as I think back throughout my lifetime and all my memories, just like TV, once upon a time, the television, once it gets to a certain time at night, will cut off for the night. There wasn't no flicking channels all night or trying to record these shows so you could watch it later. Or There wasn't no 24-7. Once about 1.30, 2 o'clock come, that TV is off for the night. American flag music playing. <laughs> and you going to sleep to regenerate. The creators of that boob tube knew the powers that it held over us. And they had at least the common courtesy to give you a chance to recoup and regenerate from everything you took in from it. They knew that. So, fast forward from then to now, now we got telephones 24-7, internet 24-7, TV 24-7, music 24-7, streaming 24-7, Mm. So I think about that. I think about that. And it ain't hard for me to understand why we see all the wickedness around us. Because everybody is distracted. Don't nobody know how to disconnect. Disconnect from the network. Disconnect from the powers that are brainwashing you, the powers that are that are managing to 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 just download all these wicked symbolisms into you and it's a sign of the time because Nothing under the sun is new besides this technology. And the effects of this technology that we take in, we don't really know what the outcome will be because it's so new, you know. Maybe this might end up being the worst thing that ever happened to us throughout mankind. Only time will tell. But don't get me wrong, the information is always good to have. But you still, we still have to stay in tune with nature and our bodies. Meaning, if you never get a chance to meditate, to shut down, sleep, eat right, stay in tune with night and day, continue to digest the nutrients needed, the necessities needed to live a fruitful life. Pray, read, read. Mm. That's another thing. When was the last time you cracked open a physical book? I'm not even talking about having the book read to you from your phone. No, I'm talking about an actual library, cracking open a physical book, turning the pages. When was the last time you did it? Yeah. 
So I think of all these things, but it's still no surprise, you know, because the wickedness of the world is just the wickedness of the world. And it will always be, you know, and it's not new. Even one time, once upon a time, you couldn't even buy liquor on a Sunday. They at least had the common courtesy to shut down the liquor establishment and give you a break on God's day. Now that's out the window. 24-7, 365, all these poisons, demons, spirits are attacking you. So what do we do? How do we protect ourselves? How do we move forward in a better manner? And the only way that I can answer that, we have to turn back to God. And we got to get back in tune with nature. We got to put these, these, these gadgets down and start to conversate face to face again. Not FaceTime. Let's pull up on each other. Pull up on each other. Sit down. Rap a taste with each other. You know? Get together. Connect thoughts. And once we start to separate from the technology and get back to the true beings of ourselves in tune with nature. Pray. Build your spirit up to the most high. You will start to see that the pitfalls and the traps set around you is only there to destroy you. And they're doing a damn good job. They got us all trapped and don't even know it. But, you know, this is just something that was floating through my mind. And I just wanted to share this afternoon. And I pray that y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. I love y'all. And I will continue to raise the consciousness of myself and all those around me. Peace and blessings to the family, and I love y'all.